300 subscribers. We did it. Good morning, guys. Just woke up. I don't feel 100%. Uh, it is half nine in the morning. I've been awake since about nine, just trying to wake myself up. Not feeling 100%, like I said. But I just want to quickly cover something because I know politics to start the vlog, not always fun. But if I get out of the way now, it's done. Casey Neistat made a video yesterday um, calling out all the other YouTubers to talk about who they're going to be voting for. Like the top YouTubers, not people like me, obviously. Although I get a feeling a lot of people around my size are going to make videos in response to him. This isn't a response to him, but in response to him to get the sort of views and shit. This isn't a response to him. This is just me giving my opinion on what he said in the video. He's voting for Hillary because Donald Trump is this, he's that, he's this, he's that. And... I just want to throw in a little bit into that because I think they're both a terrible, terrible idea, like a really, really bad idea. And if you think Donald Trump is the only one of the two or the 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 <laughs> the least worst of the two, like the better of the two, if you think Hillary is the better of the two, you're wrong. They're both extremely bad. There is not one that's better than the other. There's not one that's going to do less damage than the other. If you truly believe that, then you need to really look into each person. If you truly believe that Donald Trump has got just you in mind, just the American people to make America great again, you're an idiot. He has a deep, <laughs> deep rooted hate for for um, anyone who's not white and American. And it just, it's been proven time and time again. People go, no, that's not true. He just wants non-illegals to get out of the country. Oh, really? Really? Is that why he's targeting every fucking non-white person? Like saying Obama was an American absolutely harassing the shit out of that family that muslim family whose son died for america like you really want that asshole as your fucking president like no you're an idiot secondly clinton her fucking husband's a rapist and he kind of got away with it which is just amazing and she is funded by war she's funded by war um she is literally funded by war um, she's motivated by war. Her husband's a fucking moron and has more influence on the campaign than you realize. And you really want him having a sane shit again? Really? The rapist? I don't think so. Anyway, that's enough politics ramble. Let's go grab a coffee. Let's go get in the shower. Let's go do all the... 300 subscribers. We did it. Yay! Thank you all so much. That's crazy. It's probably going to go below that now. It always happens once we hit a milestone. There's like few people out there who are just like and then unsubscribe. It's like you're a booty hole. Um, Yim is on her way around now. She will be here very, very, very soon. She's literally probably going to be getting off the bus real soon. So yeah, I need to log all my activity on that job center thing because I've not been doing it every day because just been way too busy, way too busy. But anyway, thank you for 300 subscribers. That's crazy. Guess who's here? Who do you think it could be? It could be anyone. <gasps> Wait, where are you going? There's a wall there. You can't go anywhere. Haha. <laughs> How are you? You got your eyebrows done. They look good. Oh my god, you know. <laughs> good job. I can't anymore. Uh, there's. I was gonna mention what's going on at work, but I think that's probably a bad idea to mention that in vlogs, yeah. isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Yim keeps saying you can't keep mentioning stuff about work in your vlogs, and everyone else is saying the same. And I probably shouldn't, but th this is my life. The vlogs are like part. This is, oh, you're like my friend. Like, this GoPro is my friend, and then this GoPro reaches other people who are my friend. Does that make sense? Do you get what I'm saying? So, I feel like I should tell you what's going on, but then I can't. Alright, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, all ready for work now, which is good. We watched um, the Mitchell Axe. We had to catch up one of their vlogs, and then we watched Louis through Savile, that documentary on BBC iPlayer. We highly suggest it, because he did a documentary in 2000, wasn't recommend it? Recommend it, not suggest it. Don't recommend be telling it. people what to do, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, that's the point. What do you think of that Casey video? I already spoke about it earlier. I, I think it's ridiculous. I think he's a bit ridiculous. But what would you do if you were in America? I wouldn't vote for either of them. You'd vote can third party? Yeah. yeah. Can you spoil the paper like you can over here? You can spoil your ballot paper. I don't know. You can... But I think, I think I think you can vote. A, yeah, they but have I think to count it as a vote, but not to any party. But I think you can do third party. So why spoil it when you can do third yeah, party? Yeah, if, if you can do that, then I think you can do third party. Anyway, yeah, we both hate e both of them equally. Asiu was actually saying, if you had to choose between the two, you'd actually go Donald Trump. Yeah, I would, even though I'm brown. Yeah. I'm <laughs> uh, 
Because he, he'd be your best friend, wouldn't he? Yeah. No, but I think I think it's a lesser of a two evil. Like he he talks like he's got all of these like views and all of these opinions to get in the viewers and the voters. But like Hillary actually does the stuff. I think her and her husband have done a lot worse. Yeah, her husband has literally has. raped people, whereas exactly. he's just made jokes which presidents can't make. But I hear jokes but like again, that all the it was time. Like Eleven years ago. Yeah. True. True. But. I think the media is portraying him to be much worse than he actually yeah, is, yeah, but I, so I still don't think he's a good candidate. No, I don't he think he'd make a good president, and I think they're both really, really bad. Um, anyway, yesterday's vlog, which you haven't seen, I didn't even tell you, I saw on one of the bus stops, and you won't be surprised by this, um, the, it's engraved in the glass, like someone scratched it, saying, fuck, fuck Muslims, and like, fuck Islam. So I went on a long run about people in this area. And you've experienced people in this area. They are yeah. literally oh, white supremacists. Like, like the, the old white man who let everyone go onto the bus and then he like oh, pushed yeah. it in front of me and it's like, oh, mate. Yeah, exactly. It's like there was this old white woman as well at the bus stop. You went there. I was telling you about it, saying about how oh, yeah. there's so many blacks who have moved in. They're taking over new parks and all this. It was just, it was hilarious. It was literally hilarious. I was there like, mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. These are just ingrained into their old ways of thinking. The old people, I can kind of let them off a little bit because they're sort of... It's been rooted but in no, them, whereas even, people our age. It's not even most old people. I think it's only like the the lower class, the lower class yeah, yeah, yeah. have a class yeah. system. But what I mean is like you the know, the poorer like, people in yeah. like in council estates. Yeah, I can agree with that 100. percent And to be honest, I can't They're actually less blame them that. Now this is gonna sound really bad, and you're not well, gonna agree with me, but I don't actually blame them that much <coughs> for not liking immigrants because a lot of people like how many deaths are there a year because of old people who are dying due to cold they're not getting enough money to heat their homes and then so many people they can't go to hospitals because immigrants like there are a lot of people who are in the hospitals they can't get beds and places and then there's also just like housing people have been waiting for eight nine years to get on the housing ladder you come in with like six seven kids you get a huge house yeah, and I can yeah, I can agree with that because there is a family across the road from us, um, a family of Somalians who have done that exact thing. They've got the thing seven is my kids. Does work, like she's a social worker who works in the immigration department. So I kind of know this stuff does happen. She completely agrees with it. She's like, no, it's really good. Like, you know, we're helping them. I we agree are, with letting people in and I agree with helping people 100%. But I'll be that first person. That exactly. First. I'll be that first person to give up. Part, parts of my life to help other people. You know that, yeah. I've done it, I've volunteered for many, many years helping people who are less advantaged and have had horrible lives, like horrible childhood. So I, I am all for helping people, but I do have to agree, there are a lot of old people suffering. There's a lot of non-old people, you know, I'm not gonna go into detail, but m my dad being one of them, you know, he, he worked his whole life and I know he's watching this right now and he's a huge motivator to me in like my life and he, he worked so damn hard for all them years and he got unlucky you know he got unlucky and he got ill and now he can't work and he gets treated like shit because of it yeah, he exactly. lives in he lives in a studio apartment and he just it's just it winds me up that then families can come in from a different country some of which who are genuinely not in danger that's the thing yeah, the ones who are genuinely not in danger mm -hmm. and claiming they are so they can get the housing and all that kind of stuff that's what winds me up and i'm not a racist at all like, at the end of the day, look, there's a brown person. I'm not a racist. <laughs> you don't use I know, me I know. For your, for your white most, supremacy, most, okay? <laughs> most people would, like, cut that bit out of the vlog. They'll be like, I can't put that in. People take me seriously. People take me seriously when I say shit like this. You're stupid. But, yeah. So, I uh, just... There's there's two sides. It's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Yeah. You know, there's two like, sides. There's the side where you want to help. Yeah, and but then at the same time, you kind of... If you don't have a good foundation to bring people into, then what life are they going to... Yeah, and exactly. You need to make sure everyone's like on a stable and platform this, so that. And Donald Trump was people. so onto something with checking people as they come through the border. Where he got it wrong was just targeting Muslims. Yeah. That's where he got it wrong because it's not just Muslims we should be be afraid of. We should be afraid of psychopaths. We shouldn't be afraid of Muslims because guess what? There's psychopath Christians. Look at the freaking Westboro Baptist Church. Who would want them in any country? Like they're they're just as bad apart from they don't so kill like people. You know what I mean? KKK and the yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're black white. Lives matter and yeah, all of like the extreme side of the Black yeah, Lives yeah, Matter. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. You gotta be careful with that one, Jesus. Um, but yeah, like the extreme side of the Black Lives Matter movement, and there's just extremes in all cases. But he just specifically chose Islam because of ISIS. And it's just, if he didn't do that, if he just made it clear that it applies to everyone because we should be checking anyone when they come through to a country, yeah. 
you know, background checking and stuff, I'm surprised it doesn't happen. I always get stopped and searched <laughs> every single time. Oh, uh, yeah. And I get stopped and searched every single time when I'm walking with you lot. Yeah. It's like when um, me, Ahmed and Umzi went to um, Insomnia. Insomnia. We got stopped at every single stop and had our bags checked. And then there was times where I was walking on my own and I, did, I never got searched. It was just when I was with them and they got searched. It was just, it was comical, to be honest. But... <laughs> It's the way society has been ingrained. It's like me walking in, and this is no word of a lie, with my camera into shops yeah. and high cross. They literally tell you to put it away because of terrorism. I'm like, do I look like a freaking terrorist? Do I look like a threat? And at least they're just making it general, which I'm glad about. With me. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. It's your fault. Your it's fault. All, fault. <laughs> all your fault. But anyway, that's way more than enough ranting today about political things. The past two vlogs have been very political. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully, we'll be back to normal soon as long as... <laughs> We'll see. If more political stuff happens in the world, then I'll probably talk about it. If not, I, I've, it I've said this a million times. Your day, your day is not interesting. You sit in this room doing shit all day, and then you talk to a camera. Uh, and the thing. It's my vlog. That's because I can't go out and do anything with this time, especially when you come round. We end up watching everything. It's like we'll go out, and then well, I don't know if you I guys can see this I weather. I don't. Can you look at that? It was literally raining for like I don't know thirty minutes. And it was heavy rain, and then it stopped, and then it started again, so... Mm -hmm. uh, it's all I your need, fault. I need to go. Bye. You need to go. All right, I need to go to work, because we're leaving together, because, yeah, we actually need to leave in a few minutes. So, bye, everyone. <sighs> Just made it home absolutely drenched. I'm going to get naked and get warm. That's what I'm going to do. So, I'll see all you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. Work was dead. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to it. I'm sorry about today. Tomorrow's my day off, so I'll try and do something a bit more fun, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you all again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Goodbye.